Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over a very common issue that we see with new AutoCAD users. And that issue is when you want to select an object, more objects than just the one you want to select are also selecting. So for example, we want to just select this lower right hand circle. And when I select it, left click, it selects all of the circles. So there are a number of reasons this could be happening and we're going to jump right into it in this video. Real quick, before we get started, hit the subscribe button below. If you find the video helpful, leave it a like. And if you have anything that you want to see that's AutoCAD related, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so there are three major reasons why an individual object cannot be moved away from a specific drawing. The first one is that it could be part of a block. The second one is that it could be part of a group. And the third one is that it could be an external reference or an XREF. So the first example we're going to go over is the block example. And as you can see here, I have a conference table with conference chairs. And if I hover over it, it selects the entire thing. So I want to be able to move individual chairs around. And to do that, we are going to actually type in explode. And as you can see, that comes up in a little uh, square that looks like it's exploding pops up. We're going to click enter. Now it's going to give us a select objects pick box. And what we want to do is come over to this block and we want to select it. Once we've selected it, we click enter. And now, as you can see, every single line item on this um, block is it's an individual um, object. So for example, this wheel right here, I could delete that line itself. So now we can take and we can actually move the chairs out from the different areas on this um, block. There we go. So that block, again, you're going to want to use the explode function, but it will allow you to move individual items in a block. All right, so the second reason you may not be able to pull an individual item out of a drawing is because it is in a group. So to tell or to test if it's in a group, you can either click on it and it will usually have this gray box. But another way to do it is you can actually type in properties. We're going to type in properties, come to properties. And as you can see here, it will say group. It'll do the same with the block and the XREF as well. So now that we know it's in a group, we're going to select it. Then we're going to come up here to the group box underneath the home tab. And we're going to select this little button with the X on it that says ungroup. We're going to click. And as you can see, everything is individual now. So I can move this circle out of the way. And there we go. Now, another way to do this too is we're going to regroup this. And it is grouped now. We are going to type in ungroup. And it's going to do the same thing. This time it's going to give us a little pick box. We're going to select the group. And as you can see, once we've selected it, we can now move individual items because it is ungrouped. All right, so the third most common reason why you won't be able to edit an object and why it selects the entire thing is because it's an external reference or XREF. So for this example, we have the hot air balloon. And when I click on it, I'm able to tell immediately that it's an external reference because the top ribbon shows up and it immediately goes to the tab external reference. So the first way we can deal with this is we can go up to the edit reference in place box and left click and it's going to bring down this reference edit box and we're going to come here to the hot air balloon. I'm going to click on it, click OK. And now I can go to the home tab really wherever I want to and start editing the uh, hot air balloon. So the second way you can deal with this, we need to bring it back to the X ref. We're going to click on it and we can actually open the reference in a different drawing. So you can see up here, it's opening as its original drawing and I can edit it. It's still in block form here, so I'd have to explode it. But again, I can edit it in its original drawing as well. The third thing you can do is you can actually bind it to the current drawing. So we're going to click on this. We're going to go up here and we're going to click under external references. I'm going to click that. I see hot air balloon in drawing one. We're going to go with hot air balloon because it's loaded. It's the external reference. I'm going to right hand click. When I right click, it's going to bring down this list of options. I'm going to go down to bind. It's going to ask bind type and I'm going to say bind. We're going to say OK. And now this is binded to my drawing. After you've binded your XREF to your drawing, it's still going to be in a block form. 
and it's going to go into a block form. So you are going to have to explode that to make individual edits to your drawing. So we'll do that real quick. And now you can make individual edits to this drawing. So when dealing with XREFs, I do want to kind of give a word of caution with them. Most of the time, XREFs are in a drawing because they're supposed to be there. They're being taken from another drawing. They're not supposed to be edited. So before you edit an XREF or bind it to a drawing or edit it in its original form, make sure that's really what you want to do. Again, specifically, XREFs will come in from other drawings and they're not meant to be edited. That's why it's an external reference and that's why they are brought into the drawing in the first place. All right, so that's going to wrap the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions or you'd like to see something done, leave it in the comments section below. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.